At Dingle Distillery, we distill two types of whisky, single malt and pot still. At the heart of both of the whiskies is barley. In single malt, we use 100% malted barley, and in the pot still, we combine malted barley with unmalted barley. Both whiskies are made with water from our well, and we combine them both in the mash. The first stage of the whisky making process is mashing. At Dingle Distillery, we have a traditional wooden mash done. And in the mash done, we combine the malted barley, and if we're making pot still, we have unmalted barley. We combine the cereals with hot water. And in the mash done, we convert the starch into sugar, which we will then ferment later in the wash back into alcohol. Following on from the mash, we ferment the sweet wort in the wash back. We add yeast to the wort, and the yeast feeds on the sugar and creates alcohol. We ferment for 72 hours, and that long, slow fermentation encourages the formation of esters. And these esters give our whiskey a lovely, sweet taste. At the end of fermentation, we have created a strong beer, which we call wash. The strength of the beer, or the wash, is around about 9% alcohol. We then take the wash and distill it three times in our three stills. After each distillation, we concentrate the flavours and the alcohol until finally the spirit flows in the spirit safe at 78% alcohol. In the warehouse, we take the new spirit and we fill it into casks. The spirit coming off the still is 78% alcohol. We reduce that slightly to 65% to help with the maturation. Once we fill the casks, we leave them for a period of time. It must be a minimum of three years, but for Dingle, we are looking older than that. We fill a range of cask types. We fill bourbon barrels, which are behind me, but we also fill sherry casks, which can be Oloroso or Pedro Jimenez sweet sherry. In addition, we fill port casks, and we also experiment a little with the likes of rum, champagne, and other wine casks. 